Hi 30 Day Challenges, Caro here and welcome to Day 5. The video that I have for you today is going to be on how to write a unique article from sourced content. And this content we're actually going to source from the amazing Can Do Everything tool. I'm still waiting for it to um, be able to give me a back rub. Um, we're going to be sourcing this from Market Samurai. It's really, really easy. It's actually enjoyable. Mindset also helps to make something enjoyable. But really, to write an article, I, I see on the forum people say, oh, I hate writing, I'm not a writer, I don't feel confident. This is something anybody can do. The key thing is really that, that you make that choice, that, that you are going to do the 30 day challenge and you're going to do whatever it takes. And writing is part of that. Now, I do happen to love writing. At the same time, there's been times where I really don't feel like writing an article, so I still go through that same set of emotions of, I'd rather not be doing this. And I remind myself that this is both helping me and I also want to deliver to my prospects. Because the key thing about being online is that you are committed to and, and you, you follow through on always giving your target market a quality user experience so, or your prospect a quality user experience. So now I've just had my cat walk in front of my screen. So um, anyway, without further ado, I'll show you how easy it is and there's a couple of key points and I just better say, say hello Rose. Yes, and go down. So a couple of key points that I would like to cover off with you just as a preface for how to go about writing articles from source content. So follow me. Okay, so here are some of the key things that I really, really want to impress upon you when you're writing an article from source content. First of all, please never blatantly cut and paste copy word for word and then claim it as your own. That is just not on. That's, that's really out of integrity. So please never do that. Then if you use a word for word sentence or paragraph as a quote, please acknowledge the original author. I again, that's, that's just an integrity thing. There's also copyright issues. Um, you don't want the legal beagles coming after you. So really, you do not cut and paste. And if you do use something word, and word, word for word, please make it a small snippet and acknowledge the author. Always read up on sourced information yourself and build your own knowledge base. And I'll show you in many ways how I do that just in this example with this video. And please, I encourage you, be hungry for not more knowledge. There's always going to be more information on any topic. There really is. Sometimes you might have to hunt for it more than ever. Market Samurai makes it so easy um, with the function I'm going to show you in their tool. And then this is, I suppose, a, a caro tip, something that I do that I think really works well because for me, this is what keeps me with an integrity of myself. Um, that's based on my own assessment, obviously. But it's what I will do, and I'll show you what I do shortly, is I read the existing content and then I type it out myself from memory. And I do this paragraph by paragraph. So I really absorb the information. It's almost like a test of what comes out. So I'm um, paraphrasing what I've read. It means that I'm then putting things in my own words and my own phrasing. So you know, there's the integrity side. There's also the practical and very important side with Google. It's then original content as opposed to duplicate content. And this will be talked about more and more, but it's really important that your articles are original articles when we're talking about the 30 day challenge strategy and what we're looking to achieve with that strategy, which is to test to get as high as we can, as quickly as we can in the rankings on Google and to test for traffic and for conversion. So anyway, let's go and have a look at a live example. And I think the topic I'm picking may not surprise you if you've been watching some of my videos. So follow me. Okay, so here we are at the wonderful Market Samurai tool and the topic I'm picking for the 30 day challenge is Australian Mist Cat because I happen to have recently acquired a Australian Mist Kitten and to keep this little lively fellow company I also have an ex-breeding queen um, of the same sort, Australian Mist, um, they're both chocolate spotted. So it is something that I'm passionate about because I do love um, these, these two little fur babies as um, high spirited as they can be at times. So 
what you do is you go to find content and then I have the Australian Miss Cat. Now if anybody wants to go back and check about, you know, oh Caro's going to do this, this is not a blog that I'm putting up on the internet in the 30 day challenge way. This is an example that I've created specifically to show you how to do various elements of the 30 day challenge. So it's not something for um, anyone to think, oh, wow, this is a market to go into. This is just purely for example purposes. So find content. I'm clicking these. Now these are coming up straight away because I've actually been here because I have prepared earlier. So for you, you would be pressing the find content after you've done this. So I've picked on all of these or clicked on all of these. I'm not looking for videos or Flickr images. So this is how simple it is actually for you. You simply then go to that and up comes an article. So what I then do, you can save it at text, HTML or copy to um, clipboard. What I'm doing here is I'm actually going to copy it to Google Documents. So I'm going to write my document in Google Docs. Because Google Docs is just so nice and easy and effortless and then I can um, copy it through to other entities which we'll be teaching you in the days to come. So I just press copy. I'm going to close that. And here you can see what I have done, something I've prepared earlier, is I've copied and pasted from the Market Samurai tool here. I've gone through each of these, pulled them up like I showed you before. And then I've, I've pasted in here. Now there's no way, this is not my article. This is what I'm using as my um, base for my article. So the first thing, as I said before, read through all the information. So I read through all of this and I have read through it before. And so then what I do next, so here I have another blank document and I'm actually calling this the Australian Miss Cat, the new Australian made breed. So what I do is like I've read through all those articles and I've really read through, I've poured through them and I've retained information. So the first paragraph that I'm going to write from what I've retained is that the Australian Mist Cat is a relatively new breed new cat breed. So that's something that came through all the articles because it's quite common when you look at the articles to see that they say a lot of the same thing but you want to seem original in your article. So I'll just pause here and then I'll go to the next step of, of what to do then because you don't really need to see me type it all out. So back again, so this is what I've typed so far. Now again this is what comes from this here, all of this information here I've done this paragraph by paragraph, I've read through and I've thought, well the first paragraph I'm going to introduce what the breed is, what it, you know, what it's made up from. So generally with an article you want it to be about 300 to 500 words, um, which may be six or seven paragraphs. I, I tend to prefer shorter paragraphs, so it's, it's yeah, each article about, yeah, about 300 to 500 words. 500 is fine for maximum. So as you can see here, I've already typed all of this out. Now I wanted to show you this. This is something that I copied and pasted from the material that I have on this on the other page, my like um, working document where I pull everything from. And this is a copy and paste that I'm not going to use. But you'll see they say they make perfect pets for children of all ages, even very young ones, as they are tolerant of handling and are not inclined to scratch. Kittens are lively and sober up a bit on maturity, their life expectancy is to mid to late teens. This is how I've reworked that, also pulling out other pieces of information that I've read through. You can see it's very, very different. I've said they're, they're perfect for children and elderly, so I've added that because, again, logically, generally if something's good for cats, they're okay for the elderly, and I also do know they are. They have, again, I've, I've reworked that, they're happy to be handled and don't scratch or bite. Generally, again, I know a bit about cats, um, scratches and biters tend to go hand in hand. I've reworked this and I, because I do actually happen to have one, I can inject that. But the other thing is there's, there's other parts in the documents I have on the other page that actually also say that they keep on being playful. So I've incorporated that into this part as well because I read it elsewhere. 
and I've also added that that I saw elsewhere and then it's talking about you know their life expectancy very short hair and I've just said um, very little health issues which was pulled from other parts and it was also mentioned it was thanks to that part so so again that's how I've done it from that and I've made this my own so it really is with all of this and, and so you know this is all true this is so all of this I have pulled from this and my own passion for them and yes I do happen to have some myself but pretty much it is really from these articles and this is all source content the key thing is is that you really do keep it original and it's not that hard yes you are going to have to write you know fun it's attitude give yourself a really good attitude or put a good attitude on because ultimately you're wanting to do something to help yourself you're wanting to make good money online so this is part of the work and and eventually as you become more experienced you'll be able to outsource more so just to summarize it really really is very easy to write an article and we're helping you even further with source content just the key things to recap please do not just cut and paste and and say it's your own it's so important for, for yourself to to have it seen and by google um, to have it seen to be original content now for those that feel that writing is a drag well ultimately hopefully you'll get to the point where you can outsource um, writing when you have a successful business i have a writer and I like writing but I have a writer because I'm busy doing other things so but it's important to know what to do and also know your topic to begin with and this is part of building your credibility up in this particular niche so you really want to do this exercise for yourself and I think as far as for those that don't enjoy writing or find it really hard I really I would say that it's about an attitude it's like you're here because you want to I presume make money online so therefore you make choices you make choices that yes and decisions that yes I'm here and I'm going to succeed with a 30-day challenge I'll do whatever it takes part of that is to write articles again you are wanting to have a business you also make a choice that you want to give your prospect your hope to be customer the best possible experience so therefore again that's a stimulation a motivation to get you know stuck into writing really good quality articles so and and you know there's your own personal standards so writing articles is actually not difficult it's difficult if we decide it's difficult it's difficult if we focus on how much we don't like writing if we choose to focus on the positives that by getting a website up and testing it you could actually end up having a really successful career online and you could also start to build yourself up as a recognized authority or certainly somebody to listen to in that niche even if you don't know that much about it now we all have the capacity to learn and doing articles this way especially how I recommended you write it um, for yourself out, you know out from the source content that can really help you as well to build up your own knowledge base it's certainly certainly worked for me in my um, biggest niche it was one that I knew very little about but I certainly had an interest in and now yeah I, I would say that I am an expert in inverted commas in this authentically so so I think that pretty much brings me to the end I hope that you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you again soon so take care bye